Hey Pisces, let's take a look and see who or what's coming towards you. Okay. <clears throat> Already coming out is the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Okay. All right, let's see here. Coming towards Pisces. All right, Pisces, you could have an earth sign coming towards you. You have um, the, wow, yeah, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or someone with those placements, okay, because you have the Knight of Pentacles and you have the Hermit here. Um, this is something that has been taking a long time to get to you, um, but or this person has been taking a, a while to get to you. Uh, maybe they were working on their stability, um, maybe someone was going through some type of um, awakening here. This person, yeah, this person who is coming towards you has been going through some type of awakening. Lots of earth sign out here already in the first two cards. So let's tell me about this person who's coming towards Pisces. Tell me about this person who's coming towards Pisces. This person may have ghosted you in the past, so there was some type of um, some type of interruption. You have justice. This person wants to come bring balance into this connection. Okay. You could have also been someone who's dealing with some type of legal issues. Tell me more about this person. It's coming towards Pisces. Yeah, the lovers. I think this person has made a choice when it comes to this connection with you. I think this person realizes that the connection between you and them is very strong. Um, they want to come back um, to make this offer to you. Let's see what else is going on with this person that's coming towards Pisces. Okay. Okay, so... This person may have been with someone in the past that they may have given their power over to. Um, they may have been trying to fix this person or someone may have been trying to fix them. This person is realizing that they can't change anyone, that they can only work on themselves. So this person is now surrendering to their full power. So this person um, is definitely going through some type of awakening and experiencing, learning about who they are. Yeah, they may have been in some type of codependent situation. Now, Pisces, this could also be telling you that, to surrender the idea that you can fix someone, okay? That you you just have to stand in your power and in your full power, not give over your power to anyone. Yeah, surrender unhealthy relationship. This person is surrendering unhealthy relationships. This person is walking away from something. And they feel that they have a better um, have a better chance of happiness with you, with surrender to joy. This person feels that um, coming to you would, would really make them happier than what they were in. Let's take a look here and see what the message of love is. What's the message of love here for Pisces? Passion. Okay, allow your heart and soul to sing with passion. Retreat. Okay, so I feel like this person may want to disconnect from everything and spend time with you one-on-one. -on -one. I feel like they want to um, get caught up on things. You guys may meet, talk it out. Okay, um, what else? Yeah, there's still a lot of chemistry between you and this person. A lot of chemistry between you and this person. Let's see how you're feeling about this, though, Pisces. Uh, how does Pisces feel? Let me get my traditional deck here. How is Pisces feeling about this person? Six of Pentacles. You want equal give and take. I feel that you may be willing to give into this connection if the person is going to give equally so maybe in the past the person was not giving into the connection the way you felt they should have so i feel like you may be open to entertaining this person if they have truly tamed some things or changed some things about him with this about them with this strength card here so maybe this person has some type of um 
Yeah, we did see it. I did say something about codependency out here. Maybe this person has something that they really needed to get a hold of in their life. And I feel like if this person has done these things, you may be open. Let's see. Tell me more about how Pisces feels about this. Yeah, you're ready for some type of the situation to change. So you, you, you may be waiting. You may wait it out and wait and see. Yes, I feel the wait and see. Like for some of you, you're going to wait and see how this person comes in and how they act or whether, or whether this person is going to be in and out. So you're going to give it time and you're going to be patient with this person kind of being a friend or just, you know, allow them to be around a little bit. But um, I don't feel like you're going to let this person get in your head. Um, there's something here with this nine of swords. I just feel like you are not going to let this person get in your head. Maybe in the past you had a lot of anxiety when it came to this connection. I hope you guys can see these cards clear because I do have my little nightlight on. But um, let me see. What's with this nine of swords? Oh, yeah, the world card. Yeah. I think that if this person brings you any type of confusion or any type of anxiety, I feel like you're going to just end it. The friendship or anything. I just don't see you putting up with it, Pisces. Yeah. Because you're the queen of cups. This is you, Pisces. This is you. So you have love and passion. And I feel like you're going to be using your intuition when it comes to how much you give to this person. Look at the lover's card. Yeah. And how much you give to this person. You know, whether you're going to make a, a decision or choice with this person is going to be based on how how you feel intuitively, what you see from this person. Because I feel like even though you love this person, something happened with you and this person. Look at the Justice card and the Ace of Cups. Wow. So for many of you, there is an opportunity for this connection to come back into balance here um, and have a beautiful new beginning. It's going to be up to you, Pisces. Let's take a, a look at the message of love here. Let's see. see. A message here for Pisces regarding the situation. I did see that obsession card flip over. So some, this person could have a bit of an obsession when it comes to you and your energy, Pisces. They could have been watching you the whole time that they were away. Give me more Pisces. What do I have for Pisces? I have the unavailable card. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. If this person comes to you empty-handed, comes to you um, with empty promises and they're unavailable to you like they were in the past, Pisces, I don't see you dealing with it. But for some reason, I feel like um, this person knows how to come to a look. What I just said, the obsession this person is obsessed with your energy and something concerning you, okay? Or this person is obsessed with the thought of reconnecting with you. Or you maybe have been obsessed. Maybe at the time that this person was unavailable, they were still obsessing over you. Give me one more for Pisces. Yeah, past life love. Because there's a very, very close connection. This connection right here is very intense between you and this person. Okay, so Pisces, that's clearly going to be up to you what you decide to do with that. But let me get a card here for Pisces from the Moonology. Just for you, Pisces. What is this? You are good enough. Know that you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. I'm telling you, this is... Some, many of you are dealing with um, someone with a lot of Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay? In your chart, in your chart, now I do see water out here as well, so it could be a water sign, but I see lots of earth out here. See, there's some fire out here too. Aries Leo Sag, I do see Leo out here. Okay, so you are good enough. I feel like this person um, wants to be good enough for you, and you need to know that you are good enough for, for love. I think that you know this now. I think that you know that you deserve equal give and take. And someone feels it's time to take action. So this is what this person is going to be doing. All right, Pisces. So this is who's coming towards you and what the situation is. Let me know if it resonates with you. And I will see you on the next one, Pisces.